What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Sigmix 45 1000 watt powered karaoke mixer. This is perfect for live performances, karaoke setups and much more. Now there's many different ways we can connect speakers to the Sigmix 45. So for example, if your passive speakers have binding post terminals on the back, you can use those to connect to your Sigmix 45. To do that we're going to need a couple of positive and negative speaker wires. We'll plug one end into the positive and negative terminals on the back of your speakers then we'll plug the other ends into one of the left and right speaker terminal outputs on the back of the mixer but if we wanted to have a bigger setup with bigger speakers we can do that as well let me show you how to do that next Okay, so here I have my two passive speakers that I'm going to connect to my Singmix 45. To do that, I'm going to take a couple of speak on to positive and negative bare wire cables. I'm going to take the bare wire ends and plug them into the left and right output of channel A on the back of the mixer. Then I'm going to take the other ends and plug them into the speak on inputs on the back of the speakers. So now I can go ahead and turn on my mixer. So now if we take a look at the front of the mixer, you'll notice we have channel strips for four microphones that we can plug into the mixer. For channels one and two, I can use the quarter inch mic inputs on the front of the mixer to connect my microphones. And for channels three and four, I can use the XLR mic inputs on the back of the mixer. So now to connect my microphone to either channel one or two, I would need a female XLR to quarter inch cable. I'll take the female XLR end and plug it into my microphone. Then I'll take the other end and plug it into one of the quarter inch mic inputs on the front of the mixer. Today I'll use channel one. Now you'll see we have a mic microphone and line level switch. If we press the button down, this will allow the channel to take any line level signals like a keyboard or synthesizer. However, if we leave the button unpressed, it will take our microphone input. So we'll leave it pushed up for our microphone setup right now. We'll then raise the volume knob here. Then we'll want to raise the mic volume knob here as well as the master volume knob. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear my voice coming out of both speakers. Another really important thing to note is that when we're using all four microphones at once, this first channel strip controls microphones one and three, and the strip below controls microphones two and four. So if we take a further look at the strips here, you'll see the volume knobs which control the microphone volume for channels one and three, and two and four. Next we have the balance knob that lets you pan the signal between your left and right speaker. Each strip also has an echo knob to give your voice an echo effect. But before we turn the echo on on the mic itself, we would have to really fine tune the sound of the echo using the row of controls for your echo. So some of those controls include the volume of the echo, which we would need to have up if we're planning to use it. Next we have the low and high frequency range of the echo so we can really fine tune its sound. And finally we have the repeat knob which allows you to adjust how many times the sound is repeated and the delay knob which will adjust the latency of the sound. After we fix all that, we can raise the echo knob here on our channel strip and thus our voice will have the echo effect. Another really cool feature on the echo controls is the stereo and mono mode. So you can either have the effect bouncing between the left and right speaker, or we can set it in mono mode so that the echo comes out evenly between both speakers. So now moving back to our channel strip, we have our three band EQ that we can use to really tune in the sound of our microphone. So we have the low knob, which will affect the low end frequencies of our microphone. So if I turn it down, you'll notice all the high end coming out. If I raise it back up, you'll notice the bass coming back to the sound. Next, we have the mid knob, which affects the mid range frequencies. So if I lower that, you'll notice my voice doesn't have as much tone. And if I raise it, you start to hear that tone coming back. And finally, our high knob controls all of the high end frequencies. So if I lower that, you won't hear as much clarity coming out of my voice. And if I raise it back up, you start to notice that clarity coming back. Now we have many different ways that we can input music into the Syncmix 45. For example, we have the 3.5 millimeter aux input that we can use to connect any smartphone, tablet, or computer. For this mode, we'll have to set the input selector knob to aux. We have the two RCA line inputs on the back of the mixer, one labeled A and one labeled B. We can use these to connect any TVs or computers to the mixer. And for these modes, you'd want to set the selector knob to either A or B, depending on which RCA input you use. And finally, we can input our SD cards, USB memory sticks, or even pair our smartphone or tablet to the mixer through Bluetooth. For these sources, we'll want to set the input mode to USB, SD, and Bluetooth mode. 
But when you're using this mode, it's very important that you use the USB, SD, and BT button here underneath the display to choose which source exactly you want to hear from. So if I'm going to connect my smartphone to the mixer, I'm going to go ahead and put it on Bluetooth mode. Then I'm going to go into the Bluetooth settings on my phone and look for the device that reads SingMix45. I'm going to click on it to pair. And you'll know your device is connected when you hear that bell. Now before we play any music, I want to point out that we have a whole row of controls dedicated to the sound of the music here on our mixer. Those controls include the volume, balance, and the three band EQ of the low, mid, and high frequency ranges. We can also use the Bluetooth antenna on the back of the mixer to really optimize the reception of the Bluetooth device. So let's hear how some music sounds coming through the mixer. Do it. Ooh. Nice. Nice and clear, a lot of bass. Really helps that we have those controls to really fine tune the sound. So this is a really cool setup for karaoke because we can go to our Bluetooth device or our smart TV if that's hooked up to the mixer and look up a karaoke version of a song with the YouTube app and start singing along with the microphones plugged into the mixer. Now we can control the music playback using the buttons underneath the display or we can use the wireless remote control to control all of these features and more. Now the SingMix 45 also has a 7 band EQ for both the left and right speakers to really fine tune the sound coming out of the speakers. Now you may have noticed Notice that there are four sets of terminals that we can use on the back of the mixer for our speakers and each channel is 4 ohm stable. This means I can run two 8 ohm speakers off of each channel using the left and right outputs of those channels. We also have line outputs that we can use to connect to an external speaker or subwoofer. So let me show you how we can expand our setup. Okay, so now I have two more passive speakers that I'm going to connect to my SingMix 45. Similar to the setup of our last two speakers, I'm going to need a pair of SpeakOn to positive and negative bare wire cables. I'm gonna take the bare wire ends and plug them into the left and right outputs on channel B. Then I'm gonna take the SpeakOn ends and plug them into the SpeakOn inputs of the newly added speakers. Next, we'll want to be sure that the master volume is raised so that everything's coming out of all four speakers. So now I have all four speakers connected, my tablet connected to the mixer, and my microphone is all hooked up. I have a great karaoke system. Lord help me! I can't! Yay, 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 yay! So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your SingMix 45 1000 watt powered karaoke mixer. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you next time.